Hello, welcome to ABC Interactive English. That is Karen, and that is Henry.、Mm -hmm. And today we are talking about day two of building character, and it's still called "Put yourself in someone else's shoes." And the vocabulary words are affect, affect. The cold air is affecting Nathan's throat. Negative, negative. I gave the restaurant a negative review. Ill, ill. Mel's mom is quite ill. Consider, consider. Anne always considers her friend's feelings.、Mm -hmm. So, Karen, you were talking about staying positive about our future. Why is it better to be positive than negative? Well, have you ever heard of laws of attraction? Yes, I have. So, the more positive you are, I believe positive thoughts will attract positive people and positive behavior. So,、mm. if we all stay positive, and I believe we can make our world a better place.、Mm -hmm. But whereas, if everyone is negative,、mm -hmm. you attract more negative thoughts or negative behavior, and our world is not going to get better. That's right. And I truly believe that happiness is a choice. That's right. You could choose to be sad, and you could choose to be happy. It's a choice,、mm -hmm. and I believe that because Sun Yanzi sang it in her song. <laughs> Did she? Yes. Okay, I would have to listen to that. <laughs> oh, I remember that one. <laughs> okay, and the question for today is: What could be wrong with us when we're feeling bad? What could be wrong with us when we're feeling bad? Come on, let's do it together. I forgot the lyrics. The song is called 开始懂了好啦好啦 Put yourself in someone else's shoes. If someone's attitude is affecting you in a negative way, first pay attention to yourself. Notice how you're feeling. Sometimes a person's attitude is normal. It only makes us feel bad because we already feel bad. We may actually be tired, stressed, or ill. Then consider the other person's life. It's probably a lot like yours. That person has dreams and problems too. Finally, you can let your bad feelings go. You'll feel calmer, and you'll be ready to face the situation with a smile. Explanation one. Hi, I'm Jeff. And I'm Mary. Welcome to day two of this month's building character. On day one, we started reading from an article called "Put Yourself in Someone Else's Shoes." Now, at first, this title struck me as being a little strange. After all, who wants to actually? Put on someone else's stinky shoes. Then, though, I began to get it. We were not being literal. We're sympathizing here. Anyway, it's like the old saying goes: Never judge a man or a woman until you've walked a mile in his or her shoes. Sounds good to me. Anyway, let's get started on day two of our lesson. On day one of our lesson, we began to learn how to deal with rude people. Remember this: you shouldn't let rude or mean or nasty people affect you. Right. And the article begins: if someone's attitude is or happens to be affecting you in a negative way, try to be mindful. First, pay attention to yourself. It's、hmm, a pretty good lesson. Also, let's not forget that affect and negative are the first two vocabulary words of the day. Affect, affect. It's a verb. To affect something is to have an effect on something or to influence something. If you affect a person or a thing, you do something that causes this person or thing to change in some way. Now, here's a note: the word "affect" a f f e c t is usually a verb, while the word 
effect, E-F-F-E-C-T, is a noun, okay? Sometimes the word affect is also used as a noun, but only by psychologists and psychiatrists, so don't worry about that. Anyways, for example, I felt bad all day yesterday because I let his opinion of me affect me. 昨天一整天我都感觉很糟,因为我让他对我的意见影响了我。Affect, affect, 影响,这是一个动词。同学们要注意哦,affect,影响是动词,和这个字很像的effect则是名词。Like having a cold greatly affected my performance on the show yesterday. Having a cold greatly affected my performance on the show yesterday. 感冒严重影响了我昨天表演的演出。Affect的动词三态是规则的哦。Affect, affected, affected. 那除了生理上我们会被干扰影响啊,心理上我们也是很容易会被影响的哦。例如, don't be affected by his mean words. Don't be affected by his mean words. 不要被他恶毒的话影响了。在今天的文章中也说到，在被别人的态度影响、带来负面的情绪的时候啊，我们应该要专注在自己的身上。而文章提到的attitude是一个名词，是态度的意思哦。And negative is the second vocabulary word of the day. Negative, negative. It's an adjective. The word negative. Is the opposite of the word positive. Now, the word negative describes something that is bad, whereas the word positive describes something that is good. There you have it. Anyways, if something is affecting you in a negative way, this thing is hurting you, making you feel bad, etc. For example, if you take the medication incorrectly, it will have a negative effect on you. 如果你服用药物的方式错误的话,那可能会对你有负面的影响,负面的效果。Negative, negative, 负面的,这是一个形容词。Negative的相反是positive,正面的。有些时候啊,我们可能会遇到一些人习惯负面思考或给予负面的回应,但不要忘记哦,being negative won't help in solving the problems. Being negative won't help in solving the problems. 负面思考并不能帮忙解决问题。而另外,有些时候我们可能会因为别人给我们负面的评价而生气啊或难过。这时候,你可以鼓励自己,Don't be so negative. Don't be so negative. 不要这么悲观负面。就像文章里说的,这时候我们可以专注在自己身上。OK okay, everyone, let's go ahead and take a break. Don't go away, we'll be back soon. Hang 你看看你一点都没变了。Look uh, at you. You haven't changed a bit. Look at you. You haven't changed a bit. Look at you. You haven't changed a bit. 如果对方变得好好看哦,他整形整得好好,我都快认不出来了,怎么说? I hardly recognize you. I hardly recognize you. I hardly recognize you. 我都认不出来的。那记得后面要接赞美啊,因为你都没有讲好的话,他就说你在暗示怎样,我被安装,被他就拜嘛。我还想说 You are in good shape You are in good shape 身材真好那对方可能说 I've lost a few kilos I've lost a few kilos 有时候我们还说你好漂亮啊好美啊 You are gorgeous you are gorgeous. You look gorgeous. You look gorgeous. You can use fabulous. Fabulous. You are fabulous. You are fabulous. Mm -hmm. 那还有一个字呢? 
可以痛杀男生女生，都是用用什么字 ？Stunning。Stunning, stunning， 就是哦，好闪亮，好漂亮，好帅，帅到惊惊呆了哈、哦，就是用 stun 这个字， stunning. 所以呢，比如说他，你穿这个衣服好好看哦，被杀杀，对 ，You look stunning in that you, gray suit. You look stunning in that gray suit. 嗯哼，哦，还有女生喜欢被称在那个皮肤好好，胶原蛋白都还在呢，胶原蛋白真好啊 ，OK， You have gray skin. You have gray skin. 嗯，就是你皮肤好好哦，肤质真好。You have gray skin. 哦，那如果好到像悠悠这个样子，有没有？就是无瑕肌，找不出任何的瑕疵。这个时候我们就可以说 ，Your skin is flawless. Your skin is flawless. Your skin is flawless. 啊，我的皮肤真是白胖胖又咪咪。You are flawless. Yes, I know. 好，我们来看一下今天的 live action. You are my cousin, Jay. Ah, Yo Yo. Yes, yes. Look at you. You, you haven't changed a bit. Really? Yes. You, you look really gorgeous.、Oh, thank you. And I can hardly recognize you.、Oh, you look so different now. Well, I lost a few kilos. Oh. That's great. That's great. You are in good shape, and you look stunning. And that grace.、Mm -hmm. Thank you. And you have. <laughs> you have great skin. Oh. Your skin is flawless. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Explanation two. Welcome back, everyone, to our building character lesson, guys and gals. You cannot forget to sympathize with others. Always try to put yourself in someone else's shoes. Right. Even if someone is having a negative effect on you, you should re remain mindful. You should pay attention to yourself. The article, I believe, says it best. Notice how you're feeling. Correct. You have to search your feelings, and hey, this might not be easy. You might even realize that you're the one to blame. You see, sometimes a person's attitude is normal. It only makes us feel bad because we already feel bad. Indeed. We might be the problem sometimes, but not because we are bad people. We're just feeling bad. We may actually just be. Oh, 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 oh! Stop right there, Mary. It's time to ask the question of the day. What could be wrong with us when we're feeling bad? When we're feeling bad, we may actually be tired, stressed. Or ill. When we're feeling bad, we may actually be tired, stressed, or ill. And ill is the third vocabulary word of the day. Ill, ill. It's an adjective. The word ill has a couple of different meanings in English, but most often the word ill describes a person or some other living thing that is sick or not in good. Or full health. Yes, the words "sick" and "ill" usually mean the same thing. For example, after eating those oysters, I became violently ill. 在吃了那些牡蛎之后，我变得极度不舒服。Ill, ill, 生病的，不健康的，是一个形容词。Ill 这个字其实就和同学们以前学的 sick。生病的形容词很像哦，所以如果同学们看到你们的朋友好像有点怪怪的，你可以主动关心他，问他说 ，You look ill, are you okay? You look ill, are you okay? 你看起来很不舒服，你还好吗？或是你也可以直接这样问哦 ，Are you feeling ill? Are you feeling ill? 你觉得很不舒服吗？那回到我们的文章。刚刚说到要注意自己的感受，有时候别人的态度啊，其实很正常，可能是我们自己觉得很疲累、有压力，或是身体不舒服，才会感觉很不好
。那我们补充两个单字 ：normal。Normal 形容词就是正常的意思。Stressed, stressed 形容词则是有压力的的意思。Okay, when a person is affecting you negatively, you need to notice how you're feeling. That's step one. Right. And the article continues. Then this is what you next. Then consider the other person's life. And here. We have the final vocabulary word of the day: consider. Consider, consider. It's a verb. If you consider something, you think about that thing usually in a thoughtful or deep way. Yes, to consider something is to ponder that thing, to contemplate that thing, to meditate on that thing.、Mm. So on, so forth. For example, before telling others, consider the effect that your news will have on them. 在告诉其他人以前，设想一下你的消息对他们会有什么影响。Consider, consider, 考虑，设想是一个动词。去考虑设想一件事情，也可以用 ponder 一个动词来衡量那件事，或是 contemplate。动词深思熟虑，亦或是 meditate 也是一个动词，沉思的意思。来看一个例句 ：John is considering moving house. John is considering moving house. John 在考虑要搬家。那在考虑事情的时候啊，不要忘记要谨慎思考过后再下决定哦。例如 ，You should take time to consider Mr. Lee's offer. You should take time to consider Mr. Lee's offer. 你应该花时间考虑一下李先生的提议，应该蛮好的哦。而我们文章则是说到，我们可以设想一下别人的生活。There you go, everyone. Consider the other person's life. You need to you need to put yourself in that person's shoes. Yep. Consider that other person's life. If you do, you might find that it's probably a lot like yours. And That that person has dreams and problems too, just like you do. Yep. When you realize this, you should start to feel better, and then finally you can let your bad feelings go. You bet. And when you do, you'll feel calmer, and most importantly, you'll be ready to face the situation with a smile.、Mm, there you go. 那今天的文章最后说，去设想其他人的处境，将心比心，因为他们也是一样会怀抱理想，会有遭遇挫折的时候。在放下负面情绪之后啊，我们可以就变得比较平静哦，并且啊，准备好用微笑来面对我们的生活。那 situation 是一个名词，就是指情况或处境的意思。Okay, everyone, with that, our lesson is now officially complete. Right. And that means it's time for a break. That being said, I hope everyone enjoyed building character with us this month. Me too. Anyway, stick around, guys. We'll be back with more fun in no time. Put yourself in someone else's shoes. If someone's attitude is affecting you in a negative way, first pay attention to yourself. Notice how you're feeling. Sometimes a person's attitude is normal. It only makes us feel bad because we already feel bad. We may actually be tired, stressed, or ill. Then consider the other person's life. It's probably a lot like yours. That person has dreams and problems too. Finally, you can let your bad feelings go. You'll feel calmer. And you'll be ready to face the situation with a smile. Welcome, audience. Welcome to watch the English Spanish English. I'm Daphne. Today, we're going to learn two different words. The first one is to express A is like B. It's like B. It's a lot like B. 第二则是表达释放的动词片语 ，let something go。让我们从句型开始吧。
A is a lot like B， 意思是 A 很像 B。Like 在这里是介系词“像”的意思。A is like B， 就是 A 像 B。A lot 在这里是副词“非常”。A is a lot like B， 意思就是 A 很像 B。例如 ，Learning English is a lot like running a marathon。学英文很像在跑马拉松。此外，副词 “a little” 是稍微的意思。A is a little like B， 就是 A 有点像 B。例如 ，Korean food is a little like Taiwanese food。韩国菜跟台湾菜有点像。接着来看下一则文法，动词片语 let something go， 意思是释放某物。Let 是使役动词让的意思 ，go 是不及物动词去掉、放掉的意思，合在一起。Let something go 就是释放某事物，例如 Brandon let my hand go， 布兰登放开我的手，也可以用 let go of something 替换，例如 Don't let go of the steering wheel， 不要放开方向盘。以上就是今天的两则文法，全民说英语，我们下次见喽。A sentence a day. Hello, welcome to a sentence a day with me, Henry. 我们在学校的时候，当然不只是学习语言啊、数学啊、科学，我们还有做一些别的活动，像学习音乐啊，或是玩运动啊。那这些是做这些事情的时候，我们也是跟我们的朋友在一起吃喝玩乐哦。So the sentence for today is: Are you coming to dance practice today? 你今天会来练舞吗 ？That's right. Dancing is also a very popular activity in schools because dancing is fun and it's a good exercise and it makes you happy. So some of us dance together in school. You could do lots of different dances like jazz or hip hop or swing. There are many different dances, and this is also a very popular activity that we share with our friends. And like I said, dancing is a good exercise and it's a good chance for you to. Have some fun and share your time with your friends. And the sentence for today is: Are you coming to dance practice today? You should. Don't miss dance practice. It's important. See you next time. Bye bye. Hello, 大家好。我是 Hanny， 又到我们一分钟的单元喽。那我们今天用一分钟的时间来复习在 Building Character 学到的四个单词。同学们，您都准备好了没？一分钟计时开始。好，第一个单词它指影响，影响它是个动词哦。那怎么说呢？就是 affect。Effect. 如果把字首 a 改成 e 就变名词 effect. 好 ，the new policy may affect their business. 那像新的政策可能会影响到他们生意。再看第二单词是负面的，负面的怎么说呢？叫做 negative. Negative. He has a negative attitude about everything. 他对每件事都抱着负面的态度，他非常悲观。好，再看第三个单词是生病的，生病的。哎，我们可以用 sick 这个字表示生病的，对不对？还有另外一个字 ，i 开头很简单，叫 ill。Ill. Their grandpa had been ill for several years. 他们阿公之前一直生病，病了好几年。再看第四个单词是考虑，考虑怎么说呢？叫做 consider. Consider. 它是动词哦。Danny never considers his girlfriend's feelings. He never considers his girlfriend's feelings. Danny 他从来没有顾虑到他女朋友的感受，真是过分。好，不管怎么样，我们在一分钟之内顺利复习完四个单词了。同学们表现很棒哦！回去要多多复习，多多造句练习。今天的 A B C Interactive English 到此为止，下次见喽，拜拜。